All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to start a new segment here on PA Farms uh, every Friday, and it's just going to be a two to three minute uh, clip on the uh, front of every video on a Friday. Um, I have a lot of uh, farm toys, and I have a lot of people interested in uh, seeing what I have, and uh, I'd like to share that with everybody. Um, but most of them are packed away, so it's going to give me a good excuse to unpack some of these uh, farm toys and showcase them once a week. Every Friday, we're going to start a new segment. Uh, I guess I'll call it Farm Toy of the Week. Uh, it'll be just a short clip, and then we'll have your regular video. I know Fridays I used to do a story time. I think we're going to save those for the winter time when things are slow, but um, this will be the longest segment. It'll probably take up the most time just because it's kind of the introduction to the uh, Farm Toy of the Week. <laughs> a new series here. Um, I'm hoping I'm the uh, first guy to start doing this uh, every week um, have a little fun with it and I can kind of show you guys and explain some of the uh, farm toys I have and uh, some of the features how neat they are I know a lot of guys collect them um, I was pretty crazy about collecting them I've kind of slowed down since but uh, we, we'll, we'll continue as time goes on so we'll dive right into it so that this first uh, episode isn't a whole video uh, we have the Farmall H. Uh, this is the Precision Series H. Um, the box is in the attic. I do save all the boxes, um, even if they're just a cheap, uh, cheaper toy. I do save them all. I put them in a bin in, in the attic. So I do have the original box, but it's packed away. But what's neat about the Precision Series is how much detail is in everything, um, how many different features. So on this H, you can rotate the muffler off. You pull out the air intake, and then the hood actually comes off of this H. And you see the detail. I mean, they went down to the point where they have the uh, spark plug wires. Uh, they also have the uh, gauges. They have little... Got to get in frame here. They have the little gauges that even have uh, uh, these ends on. Now, the one thing, I have to get some glue. This is how this H came. Uh, one of the spark plug wires was uh, disconnected here. I think they're just glued fast, so I have to get a little bit of super glue and put that back. Um, also, on this H, along with the uh, uh, steering wheel here, that you can see the, see the action there, the throttle. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you can see the throttle move, um, the belt pulley. That spins and it actually has wood on it. Uh, so that's another neat feature. Um, if we turn it around here, the brakes are spring loaded. The clutch pedal is spring loaded. Uh, the shifter's fixed. It has the, uh, you can pull the, uh, Pull the lever there. The seat is spring loaded. The drawbar swings back and forth. And we'll rotate it around. And you can actually see when you push the clutch here. That it even moves the rod right for the uh, clutch housing there. So it's uh, pretty neat. Uh, you can get them. They get pretty detailed. Uh, they do get very expensive when you get into the Precision Series of uh, farm toys. But uh, this was a gift, actually. So I didn't end up half. I didn't have to buy this. <laughs> it's probably $200 or more if I had a guess. So this was a gift. So I have it in my collection. Um, at one time, I was only going to collect the farm toys of the equipment that I actually owned. Uh, like my Super C and my 8N Ford. And uh, it's hard to just collect what you own. I'll have to play with that. That muffler, it's like spring-loaded. And it's a little tricky to get back on. So uh, this will be the first segment of this uh, new series. This video is about five minutes long, but we're going to cut it down to only about two minutes from here on out. So the very first... Uh, Video here, you can see the decals on the 
fuel tank, um, the lights, it has a, an actual lens. They don't light up or anything. Uh, I believe this is, let's see what it is here. It is a 112th scale Formal Model H. And I don't see if it's a Ertl. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the box. But uh, the way it feels, it looks like the oil pan even comes off. So, yep, this is uh, first segment. We'll see how it goes. If you guys are interested, every Friday I will take you through a different uh, farm toy. It'll be the farm toy of the week. It'll be a regular segment. And we will just, uh, boy, I wish I could get that back on. There. Uh, we'll just uh, go into our regular video. Yeah, there's even more cables down here that move. For the starter and the choke, so... Pretty neat farm toy, very expensive. Like I say, it was a gift, so <laughs> I'm kind of proud of it to have it in my collection. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, back with the regularly scheduled video. All right, guys, welcome back. I just uh, wanted to show you something in the soybeans that has me confused, too, here. We got the beans coming up. I did not get the herbicide on yet, uh, the uh, post-emerge, but... <clears throat> a lot of yellow beans in this field I don't know if that's uh, from the rain or uh, <laughs> I still smell chicken manure uh, there's just yeah it's all it's just yellow um, I don't know I don't know if it's a water issue um, or what's going on but uh, I just want to document this This is before any uh, see the weeds coming before any of the post is on so I know it's nothing I did uh, there's just <laughs> there's, I don't know if there's just something in this ground or uh, it's just the too much water but uh, you can see how yellow it's all all the way through the beans um, on a more positive note, that real yellow cornfield does look like it is uh, starting to green up. It's looking like it's coming back. It's snapping out of whatever. Um, going to be trying to get the nitrogen on. Maybe next week, uh, just because next week uh, we're getting some rain showers, so I'll do it before rain. So I don't know, yellow beans. 